welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm finally back with a Take 5 Art Challenge video. For those of you that don't know what the Take 5 Art Challenge is, it is a monthly challenge that I participate in with 11 other ladies, uh, which you can all find in the description box below. And each month one lady chooses five prompts that you have to use in some type of creative project. All of the ladies in the group post videos, but we ask that you play along with us. You can share your artwork using the hashtag Take5Art on Instagram, or if you make videos, you can make a video about it. And Kyra, the creator of this challenge, has a whole playlist on her YouTube every month of everyone, including you guys who have created videos that you can watch for inspiration. It's super cool because you get to see everyone's different styles and takes and the different projects that they make and it's a lot of fun. I took a lengthy break in 2020 from the Take 5 Art Challenge. I just needed to free up some time and kind of recharge my batteries. And I'm excited to be back for 2021, hitting it off with Amira's prompts uh, for January. So I hope you guys will play along. Uh, I've pulled out some various things. I have a bunch of things that I'm going to use for collage. I have my focal image. Uh, these are the prompts that Amira chose. I will put them on the screen for you so you guys can check that out. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to speed this up and talk to you in a voiceover in a second. All right, and we're back. I actually filmed this like three weeks ago, so you'll have to bear with me as I remember <laughs> kind of what I did. Uh, but I remember I had a lot of fun doing it. So the prompts, I'm sure as you saw up on the screen... Uh, were complementary color scheme plus black and white, a background technique, a focal image representing the new year for you, a second layer using the same color scheme but in a different medium, and one word for 2021. I really like that uh, Amira chose these prompts. It got me thinking kind of about my word of the year um, and just kind of excited to start planning my goals and stuff. So. Thank you, Amir, for that. I chose to do a large tag and ended up making kind of a pencil board type thing to use in my planner. So it also turned out to be functional, which was great. I chose this image of this girl standing kind of on a stump in nature. I can't think of any words for the feeling that I'm trying to convey but anyway it was a page out of a book and I liked the image so much that I actually photocopied it so that I could use it in this project and still have it so there's a little tip for you um, I don't suggest doing that with everything because then you'll just have a giant stash that you never use but um, there are a few images here and there that I will do that with so my complementary color scheme that I chose was green blue and yellow those are colors that I really like to work with and they just work well together so that's what we went with I did a collage background, classic Leanne, of course. Um, and I just pulled out a bunch of things from my scrap bin and started putting them down. I actually had a vision for this project, but I don't typically when I sit down to do, especially the take fives. But uh, when I was thinking about the prompts, I had this vision to do kind of this background that you could see through these black stripes with my focal point on the top. So I did go in uh, knowing that. Because it is a background, I didn't really plan out any of the placement of the collage like I would do if I was doing a cover or something like that. But I knew I wanted to have like a couple different images in there that would poke through with the stripes that I was gonna put on top of it. But otherwise, I just took the scraps and from my scrap bin and my magazines and collaged a random collage. How many times can I say collage? You'll, if you turn it into a drinking game, you'll probably be hammered after this video. <laughs> Thank you. 
The glue stick that I'm using is one of my favorites. This is the Diane Reevely uh, by Ranger Collage glue stick and like that's literally what it's made for. So uh, I think she calls them her diary glue sticks now, but they're just uh, really handy for collage and I appreciate that stuff actually sticks down with them. So now that I finished my background, it just of course trimmed off the little pieces that I had hanging off the edge and then I realized that I forgot to put in those popsicles up there that I really wanted to put in. It was one of the things that I wanted peeking through. So I kind of took my focal image and decided how I wanted it laid out and then put the popsicles on top, well not on top of the image, but on top of the collage I already made. This way they would be kind of able to peek through, although you'll see later I cover most of them up. But the idea was that you could see a little piece of them in the final image. Please excuse my uh, voiceover, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm like totally lost as what to say about my project. So next I am pulling out my paint palette. I need to dull down my collage a little bit because I did use so many bright colors. The focal image isn't quite going to pop and it's going to get really muddy really quick. Oh, adding another layer of color over the top if I don't do this. Even though the next layer is going to be the same color scheme, it'll still just it's more effective if you kind of dull it down a little bit first so I'm just watering down some gesso and putting a nice coat over the top some of these pages were printed with my inkjet printer so the ink on the papers do run and kind of color the gesso but it's, it's part of the look you know Another bonus to doing this is that the gesso helps seal all of those layers a little bit, kind of like a gel medium, so that none of them pop up. And it also allows me to work over those glossy magazine images with whatever medium I choose to use. Uh, so yeah, all around just a fantastic, <laughs> fantastic choice if I do say so myself. Very helpful technique. And then a little tea break, of course. So after that dried, I went in with my focal image and just kind of checked. You'll see me checking the focal image a lot. <laughs> and then I took one of my pencils and my ruler and just started to make some stripes. I tried to keep the stripes thin so that I could have big gaps in between where you could still see the uh, images that I put down in the background and I really like how it comes out in the end. <laughs> I pulled out a couple paints as you'll see uh, and I ended up um, my camera cut off which was okay because it took me forever. I had a couple paints one was dried up and the other one all separated so um, if you have paints that you're not using because they're precious, make sure you use them because uh, one day they won't be good anymore. And then you'll have to throw them away and it's sad. So <laughs> I ended up using this acrylic cheap $2 glitter paint from Michaels and I like how it, not from Michaels, from Target, sorry. I like how it came out. Uh, and then I spent a long time, which I cut out most of it for you, um, 
swatching out my Neo Color 2s and my uh, Dina Wakely scribble sticks and my distress crayons. I was trying to find the best um, color combination to use. Uh, obviously wanted to get the shades kind of close to the ones that were in the background and that took a lot more swatching than I thought it would but I finally settled on some colors. I ended up using the distress um, crayons which was just the, every time I use these, I just remember why I love them so much. It's just so much fun to play with. It really grabs onto that texture. I just went around the kind of edges of the collage and tried to blend everything together, filled in some of the white space, and yeah, just went ham making this feel a little more cohesive. So yeah, that was my second layer with a different medium. I also used these to help me kind of highlight those images that I wanted to peek through. So you'll notice uh, the lemon, the moon, the plant, and then the popsicle. Those were kind of the ones that I was focusing on still being able to show through in the end. And then again, I'm just playing with my focal image. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down with that same uh, Diane Reevely Ranger glue stick. I'm not sure why I was pondering putting that upside down, but you know, no one really knows what uh, three weeks ago Leanne was thinking. It's, it's a total mystery. So now that I have that down, I'm going back in with my Distress Crayons and blending the focal image into the background a little bit. While I do want the image to stand out, I still want it to be part of the piece. So using these to continue to blend in those edges and add a little bit more color uh, really helps. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turns out. In the end, I do have to say, um, these are three of my favorite colors currently. Uh, black is always a favorite, so yeah. I'm really happy that um, this was the prompt set that I jumped back in on because I feel like it really got me back into the groove of these challenges uh, and reminding myself why um, I have so much fun with them because it pushes me to do things that I wouldn't have done otherwise. I'm going to repunch out my hole there for my tag and then my final prompt is my one word for 2021 which is revive so there's that I debated on putting so my word for the year is revive uh, but I have like a it means to breathe new life into which I want to put kind of on my different places that I'm writing that and stuff I debated on putting it on this tag as well but I decided against it I felt like these mirror uh, type letter stickers with the revive it just it looked good on its own so I left it like that and uh, finishing touches <laughs> I was gonna say that's it finishing touches I just went around the edges with my ink pad just to kind of seal it in especially with all that black I didn't want it to I want it to be a contained piece I didn't want it to look like it was running off so that's uh, what my tag ended up looking like you guys I did end up laminating it uh, I finally got a laminator which is super exciting so I did that run that through the laminator but I made sure to get you some close-ups before then so you didn't have to look at all the weird reflective stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today please don't forget to participate uh, and use the hashtag take five art so I can see what you do go ahead and tag me on Instagram if you do post something so that I don't miss it a huge thank you to my patrons for sponsoring today's video they make what I do possible over here on YouTube and thank you to you guys for watching this video. I will catch you guys in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.